Hello, and welcome back to another episode of Small Engine Velocity. This is Caesar returning with the project of the century. Uh, I have a transmission or a CVT for the Honda Ruckus, and it is right. Oops. It is right here. And I am going to go ahead and begin the disassembly of this. CVT transmission. <laughs> There's all sorts of stuff on here that I have questions about, but I'm just going to go ahead and go for it. Uh, I watched a few videos and uh, how hard could it be? Uh, as long as I remember how I took it apart, I can put it back together again, right? Anyways, uh, the first thing we need to do is take the transmission and go ahead and drain the fluid. So here is the CVT and there is the drain plug. Go ahead and take the drain plug out and drain whatever fluid I have in here because the number one of the things that everyone keeps telling me is that when you take this apart, drain the fluid first or you will have a wonderfully gross mess. So let's go ahead and do that first. So I've turned it upside down as an old oil pan that I had and uh, I guess I'll let it drip for a little while. I don't know if I need to take all that brake stuff apart but probably so let's let it I'm gonna tilt it a little bit some more and let's let it drain and I will be right back. Alright so it's drained I'm gonna go ahead and use a 10 millimeter on all these nuts and then see if I can separate the transmission. So let's go ahead and give that a shot. Here's what it looks like taken apart. Keep in mind that there are two sizes, these two long ones and a bunch of short ones. Everything is a short one except for the two ones on the outside of the case. You can tell which ones they go on because the case, the, the distance, is, it's the higher, it's the two ones that are higher up on the surface. But if you look, there's like the gears, uh, obviously there, I saw in the manual, uh, in the instructions, there's a particular place you run the seal against, the, the gasket seal, but here it is on this. So I need to take this, uh oh, oh shoot, I forgot. There's two washers and I wanna make sure I remember where they go that are right here. I don't know which ones they go on top of, but I'm gonna make sure that I remember that there are two washers here. And it looks like they are the same size. Yeah, they're the same size. See? Oh, no, one is a little bit bigger. So the bigger one goes in the middle and this one goes in here. I'm using this video as a reference. Okay, so let's see if I can take these off and somehow maybe I can press this out. I don't know, we'll see. Uh, let me go ahead and give it a little inspection. It's, it smells terrible. I don't like the smell of transmission fluid, but I'm gonna clean this up anyways. 
Be right back. Okay, so let's take a look at what we got. This is okay, there. Drive shaft to your wheel. So this is all one piece right here. Okay. So there is a replacement one in here right there. I don't know if you can see that in there, but this is a replacement for this. So you replace that. There is this, which is a replacement seal that goes in here. If you can see inside, there's a seal in here. And this replaces it. Okay, so that's the two pieces I have in here. Then there's these two pieces, right? So if you look, there's these two pieces. So there's this, and then there's this right here. I'm keeping them the way I had them. <laughs> Oops. So these two go together. There. And that's what these two pieces are. So basically, I'm replacing all the gears in here. So I guess this is a full set. I was under the impression that there was more gears in here, but maybe I should have done a little more research. But there you go. Let's go ahead and clean this up. Uh, um, I'll wash all this out and clean it. Um, I'll try to preserve uh, just the edges. I mean, there's some junk all in here to clean. And I have to remember those two washers right here get reused again. All right. Okay. What did we learn in part? Part one was the taking it apart and inspecting the cell. So I looked inside and it looks pretty straightforward replacing the stuff. Just make sure you remember where all those washers are and make sure where all your screws are. Uh, be sure to drain it before you put it together and make sure, I don't know, make sure that uh, uh, you, you take a picture or a video. I mean, that's pretty standard if you've ever taken anything apart that's complex. This isn't actually that complex. Uh, the gears are pretty, it, it's, it's pretty straightforward. So I think I'm gonna have more of a hard time uh, cleaning the CVT arm because I gotta degrease it. I don't have any degreaser. And then, uh, um, and polish it up. Well, I don't know about polish it, but just get it all nice and shiny and clean because it's, there's mud in it. There's like mud in all sorts of like little crevices and little bits of rust. Um, if I can, I'll paint it. But I probably won't really be able to. So, uh, let's call this uh, part one. Uh, the exploration of the gears for setting up of a mech, uh, setting up mech gears in a ruckus. Anyways, uh, the second one will come up pretty quick, I'll probably do that one tomorrow. But I hope you guys liked, be sure to subscribe if you want to see how this ends. Uh, we will finalize this particular series whenever we actually do a test run on it. Um, I recorded uh, what I, everything I have right now, uh, and we'll see what it translates to uh, whenever we use my gears. I'm sure there's going to be a lot of different kind of tuning, which I think is what most people are not concerned with but are curious about. But anyways, thank you, and I'll see you next time.